Okay, we're in the harbour at Mackay with lots of fishing boats behind um, the camera. And I'm with Steve Andrew, the state member from Morani, a One Nation me member of parliament. Ben Smith, who's a fisherman out of uh, Bundy, yep. Bundaberg. And Paul Newman, who's from Cairns. But you guys fish just about anywhere, don't you? Yeah. Along the east coast. Travel, travel the coast, yeah. Yeah, wherever the money we think we can do the best. Is Get the prawns. Yeah. So you're based in Mackay, but you're in Mackay, uh, based in Cairns, but you're in Mackay. You're based in Bundy. Why are you in Mackay? Um, it's just the time of year, like, we generally, over Christmas, work down home and then from 1st of March, which the season opens here 1st of March, from then on we work north of here sort of thing, from here through to Cairns. And how long do you go out at a time? Oh look, average would be 25 nights for the month. 25 nights but in a row? Anything up to 40, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you up, up to 100? Uh, quite often we do a 100 day stint, yeah, from uh, Cairns North, we use mothership services and do 100 days straight. Wow, and, and how much fuel do you take on? What does it cost you to fuel up for a month? Look, 25,000 roughly a month. 25,000 in fuel a month? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's roughly, you know. Um, do you have to pay excise on that? No. No, okay. No, you, oh, you do, and then you can, yeah, claim it back. back. Yeah. And, and what does it cost every every uh, week, a thousand bucks or something in insurance, you say? Oh, look, between, say, 700 and a thousand, yeah, yeah. a week. Wow. And with um, the, with the, the two boats, I think, we're um, 16, 18 a quarter or something like that, and I've actually had to tone down your insurance. my insurance to keep, because the premiums keep stepping up so much. Okay. Yeah. So you've got a very large cost. What's it? What's your turnover a year? Look, you generally aim for about a million dollars. Yeah, wow. generally. Per but boat. you need that. You need that. Mm. So, for example, um, a new main engine in, in one of my vessels is about 120, 130,000. Um, and you put a gearbox on the back of that, that's 80,000. Like it's The fellow helping you put that engine in, yeah. uh, he's often 100 to 150 dollars an hour uh, and the slipways where you might do said job uh, can be as much as three or four hundred dollars a day so getting a prawn onto our plates yep. is an expensive venture yeah and it's risky oh, yeah. well, well that's where the insurance comes in isn't it you well it, it, it is it's a, it's a risky game uh, it's like anything it's, it's as risky as you know there's ways to manage risks basically yeah, yeah. Um, because you've got X amount of knots, you can go out in X amount of knots. Weather. Yeah. Yeah. And then after well, that, your insurance is null and void. That's what you've got to be uh, careful. Not, no, not, not exactly. No. no. But I mean, it's up to the captain as to what. Yeah, he seems. What fit, he yeah. sees fit, and most of us are smart enough. That's you know. right. So <laughs> we're here now. We're only in town now of because of the risk to safety with this. Yeah. With this because you the, the, you understand the weather events. Aren't yeah. Yeah. Impending. But if, if it was just a normal weather event, you it's could work behind the reef, yeah, in that lee, it. in the lee of the, the yeah. reef of the island. Can yeah. I just say, those of us uh, left fishing today, because our numbers are only 250 odd uh, East Coast trawlers now, uh, the safety of our vessels and the fact that, that we're still here oh, speaks for itself. You've got about yeah. seven or eight different licensing with all your, your monitoring as well on top of that. So the red tape's huge in place. Oh yeah, it's, it's crazy. And, and you you know, the vessel monitoring, all your satellite stuff, of course. Yeah. So, so what was the what was the fishing fleet, say, 20 years ago? 1,500, 1,700. 1,700, yeah. what is it now? Two. Oh, look, at any one time, I think there's less than 200 of us that's, that's about active, active license. So you're down to yeah. about 12% of what it used to be 20 years Absolutely, ago. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And yet, yeah. now, We've got the largest continental shelf fishing zone in the world, yeah. okay? And, and yet we import, and we've only got 25 million people, we import almost three quarters of I the know. seafood we eat. Yeah. And where do we import it from? Well, who knows? Number one, number one place is China, yeah. which has got a tiny coastline compared to ours, massive population, yeah. and, and yet they send their seafood down here. And then the second biggest place that sends us seafood is Thailand, but yeah. here's the killer. Guess which country has 36% of the world's marine parks? Us. Us. Yeah. The UN directly manages some of our coastal areas. The rest are UN guidelines that state and federal governments manage. Yeah. So, so we've got a hell of a lot of our uh, fishing zones shut down. Shut off. Yeah. So Completely Malcolm, shut down. one question, and, I, and you guys ch chime in when you, if you want to. So we bring prawn into Queensland. It says in there, and, and the government tells us, you can eat these prawns, but don't take them fishing. 
Uh, isn't that white, just crazy? Yeah. Is that serious? Is that's, that serious? That's the white spot so related thing. So the yeah. bar for our export product is here. I know. The bar for our import product is here, and I have yep. to do battle with it to sell it to sell my good product to the people of Australia. So you can eat the white spot prawns. You can eat them, but you white can't feed them to the fish. You're not allowed to go no, fishing with them. You can't put them in the environment because it can. Ha it's yeah. Have you? <laughs> so, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So have you heard anything? It's so ridiculous. What, what we're doing. The government is actually allowing us to import disease and you know destroy our biosecurity area because not everyone's going to take heat to that. It's, yeah. Those no, words no, are so cheap. It's only no. a guideline. That's exactly. <laughs> so that, that brings us to the, the last point, and that is that you guys have been jerked around a lot by government regulations. Well, and, and, well, and they're not based on science. No, they're not. It's, there's groups that get on the government's case, obviously, like whether it's environmental, recreational fishers, grumper, you know, there's just that many yeah. of them. They've got to listen to them and see they're listening, but I mean, everyone's got their own agenda. And we're <laughs> such a minority. Yeah. Mm. You know, we are, we're, not, like we're not great numbers. If you've got 200 businesses, mm. say left, and we're fishermen, we're not scientists, we're not mm. any of those things. All we want to do is go and do what we've paid our money to do. And that's basically all but, we want to but do. They're, but they're, really, are de they're yep. really decent scientists who yeah. agree with what you're saying. That, oh, there are. That, yeah. that the fish are not being depleted. No. They're not being overfished. It's bullshit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And what they're actually doing is everywhere they close off, they're squeezing us into a smaller area. Mm. So what do you think you know happens? What I mean? <laughs> yeah. But you're not only getting squeezed into a smaller area, you're getting squeezed in the area with the recreational as well. Well, how, it makes how, it look worse. How, big, how big is this coastline for him from Bundaberg and me from Cairns to meet here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, that, because we're pushed yeah. into, into, one, into area. one area. Yeah. Uh, but Smithy, I've got to say, your dad would have taught you, and I know Jim yeah. Edwards and the old fellas taught me, yeah. Yeah. State, you go out there, you take what you need, or you just take that bit, and you know where to come back. Yeah. You know, yeah. It doesn't uh, matter what you're doing, eh? I know yeah. that. It, we can, it controls itself to a point. Yeah. And, and yeah, we don't need all the over-regulation. Yeah. It sort of comes back to common sense, you know. You protect what you're trying to... <coughs> yeah, shoot you back yeah, up. You, you know, right. the real problem is, and we'll finish on this one, the real problem is that we've got a, a state government that goes looking for votes in the southeast and and, sp and spreads misinformation about what's happening, and then people in the southeast think that they're doing good for the reef when they're not. No, well, that's the, right. the, and the rec sector, the recreation sector compared with us, we're so small. You know, we have votes. That's got yeah, quite votes. a big voice. They've got a to big us, voice. You know, um, anyway, I thank you very much for going out there so often and getting us uh, good fish, healthy yep. fish, and prawns. Thank you very much. No worries. All right.